Hello everyone, this is Sumita Gupta. Welcome you all for my lecture 5 that is High Performance Dynamic CMOS Circuit Domain of CMOS Logic. In the previous lecture, we have learned Dynamic CMOS Logic Gate. Now today we learn Domino. So what is the difference in Dynamic CMOS Logic? We, here are NMOS Logic and one PMOS at top, one NMOS at down with common clock. It is called Dynamic CMOS Logic. And one inverter connected at the output of Dynamic, then it becomes a Domain Logic. Then what is the need of domino logic? That is a cascading problem which was occurring in the dynamic logic that uh, uh, removed in the uh, domain logic. How that removed? So first we will try to understand what was the cascading problem. Uh, uh, remember there was two concepts which I have already covered in the previous lecture when phi equals to uh, zero and when phi equals to one. Phi equals to uh, zero means pre-charge phase that is called pre-charge and phi equals to one is called evaluate phase. Okay, phi equals to zero pre-charge and phi equals to one is evaluate phase. What is that phi equals to zero, phi equals to one? How it works? Okay, now understand um, pre-charge means output is charged up to VDD. Evaluate means output depends on the condition of input. Okay, suppose phi equals to zero. Phi equals to zero. Now remember for zero, PMOS is on, PMOS is on and NMOS will be off. And MOS will be off. Okay, this uh, zero is going here and zero is going down. So for P, uh, phi equals to zero, PMOS on. So whatever node capacitance here that will be charged up to this VDD through this path. So after charging, it will be full VDD. And then biologically, I am saying it's one. Biologically, I am saying it's one. Okay, clear uh, everyone. Okay, now again listen. When phi was zero, when this phi was a zero. This output load capacitance was one. This output load capacitance is one. And this was off. Okay. So whatever you will give the input here, suppose all inputs will be one, then or, or also it will not zero. Because this one will be zero only when it will get the path to discharge. And for uh, path to discharge, the lower transistor should be one. That's why in phi equals to zero, we'll get output always one for phi equals to zero will get output always one because it will not get the path to discharge. Okay, that's why it's called only pre-charge. Means output node is pre-charge previously. Without giving any input, it is pre-charge. Previously charged, okay? It is one. That's why phi equals to uh, zero is called pre-charge phase. Now, what will happen when phi equals to one? Okay, what will happen when we'll give phi equals to, uh, phi equals to one? that we will see here that is called evaluation phase. I'm uh, taking different colors to show you. Suppose phi equals to one. For phi equals to one, PMOS transistor is off, okay? For phi equals to one, this PMOS transistor is off. So this will off, okay? And this will also off. And phi equals to one, this lower transistor will be on, this path will be there this path will be there. Now, this one can be zero if these all inputs are one, means if it will get the path. Now, lower path is already there. If it will uh, get the blow, uh, between path also, then it will zero. Okay, same with here. Now, if inverter was not in dynamic stage, then what will happen? This one will be as it is to the next stage. Okay, this one will be as it is to the next stage. Suppose all the inputs are one, then it is having the path so this one will be zero. This one will be zero, okay? This is uh, you are getting now. But again, you understand, uh, uh, this is evaluate phase. We have given y, phi equals to one, lower two transistors on, but it uh, next stage it has taken one and as per one, the output is zero. But suppose, now the condition is, I'm again uh, showing with different color. Uh, suppose condition is all the inputs of first is are one. If all inputs of first stage are one, then it will be zero. But if according to zero, if it is zero, this path will be break. It will not get path to this side. The output it will be remains one. Means in the previous stage, output was zero. Now output is one. So uh, in short, what we uh, I'm saying, uh, trying to say, so, uh, it will second stage will take one only. If first stage is uh, making transition from one to zero, the second stage will not wait for that. Second stage will not wait for that. It will assume one only. 
okay but that problem is solved in domino logic in domino logic one buffer or we can say not gate is connected and that not gate due to that not gate it has to wait for some seconds because not gate will also take some time so that problem is solved in domino logic that problem is solved in domino logic now see how suppose in pre charge phase both transistors output will be one okay both output node is charged up to one okay but uh, as per one this will get zero because it's not gate so output of one uh, will be not gate uh, will be zero okay so as per zero it will one only second stage output one only because it is not getting the path to discharge because due to zero the envelope transistor will be off any one transistor one so logically it is correct suppose y any means these all inputs are one then output will be zero so not gate output will be one okay and as per one this output will be zero we'll get the correct output because in the previous case dynamic logic it was not waiting for its output it was uh, assuming this one only because it was on waiting but now due to attaching not gate it has to wait for this its output not gate output okay and this not gate can make from 0 to 1 transition not from 1 to 0 me suppose it is 0 then it will uh, make transition 1 now it will not make transition from 1 to 0 again i am repeating this thing okay again listen carefully what i want to say in the dynamic is uh, dynamic logic what was happening in dynamic logic, the both are put up one and as per one, it becoming zero. It was not waiting the correct output of first stage. So in, if any one input uh, is not, uh, any one input is zero, then it will be one and it will be correct. But if I, by any means all inputs are one, it will get the part to discharge and it will make transition one to zero. But second stage will not wait. It will assume one only in dynamic space. But in domino logic, there is inverter is connected here. Okay, that inverter is connected here. And that inverter will, uh, from one, it will give zero, but for zero, it will make transition from zero to one. So by any means, you will get the correct logic in the domain logic. But then uh, the next question, why its name is domain logic? Because uh, the evaluation of each stage refers the next is evaluation. Now see how, how means if it is one, so it is zero. So evaluation of first is refers the evaluation of next stage. And revolution of next stage is, is uh, represents uh, the third stage like a dominoes falling one after the other. That's why its name is domino logic. Again, listen, evaluation of first stage repels the evolution of next stage. Okay, repels the evolution of so next stage. That's why it's called uh, domino logic because it's like a dominoes falling one after the other. Next is suppose for example there is an expression y z equals to a b plus uh, c plus d into c plus d plus g h and you have to draw this with standard CMOS. Okay, you have to draw it with standard CMOS. Now see a into b for multiplication and MOS in series. Okay, for g h multiplication and MOS in series. Now c plus d both transistor will be in parallel. Here, uh, here it is mistaken. It is not c plus d. Okay, it was E plus, uh, it was uh, C plus D and it was E plus F. It is wrongly printed. It was E plus F. Okay, so C and D both are parallel. E and F both are parallel. So this is NMOS stage. If you are using standard CMOS, the opposite combination will be at top, PMOS. Okay, so whatever AB series that will be parallel, EC series that will, uh, that will be parallel, um, See here, GH series, GH in parallel. Now, this combination, C and D was parallel. Here, C and D will be in series. E and F was parallel, E, F, N is series. And these two combination are in series. So these two combination will be, are in, will be in parallel. And now you know very well that in CMOS, we always get output in the form of bar. But in this expression, there is no bar. So we have to connect one inverter Okay, its output is A, B plus C plus D into E plus F bar because it's standard CMOS and CMOS, we uh, always get output in the form of bar. So we have to connect one inverter here. Okay, now 
if we will draw the same logic using domino logic so in domino logic there is no need to to attach the pmos only nmos will be there so a into b a b is in series okay c plus d in parallel and this is uh, again wrongly printed e plus f that in parallel okay g h in series so uh, only nmos stays will be there okay now one pmos at top one nmos at down with common clock now it is dynamic it is suppose it is asking um, it will ask the uh, draw with dynamic logic up to here it is dynamic logic we have connected one inverter here so that becomes the domino logic okay now uh, from uh, static logic we come to pseudo logic from pseudo to we come dynamic logic dynamic uh, there was some problem that remedy was domino logic but there is problem in domino logic also what is that problem if we uh, 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 cascade different on the domino logic then what is the issues what problem can occur same cascading problem was in di uh, dynamic logic that was solved in domino but what is the other issue other issue is that is called charge sharing problem now again uh, start from 5 equals to 0 pre charge phase this this transistor is one this transistor output is one okay means what means this capacitor is fully charged up to vdd this capacitor is fully charged up to vdd and okay this is one stage only this is an inverter sorry this is one stage so this at 5 equals to 0 this is capacitor is fully charged up to vdd okay uh, now if phi is 1 this is stopped at 5 equals to 1 this is stopped this lower transistor is 1 now uh, suppose that this input is 1 okay uh, now at 1 and most transistor on now this transistor is on so uh, this transistor is on now this capacitor will uh, will be uh, this capacitor will take uh, will start charge sharing i mean c1 will start charge sharing with c2 again listen carefully by any means this transistor is on so this path is there now there is path from c1 to c12 now at c2 is starting zero charge and at C1 starting VDD, and this charge will be shared by C2. So it will be uh, start to decrease at C1, at C2 charge will start to increase. So after a full charge sharing at a one stage, this will be, both will be half, okay? Like VDD upon one plus C2 by C1. Again, listen, when phi equals to zero, this capacitor was fully charged up to VDD. At phi equals to zero pre-charge phase, this capacitor is charged up to VDD. Okay, now at five equals to one, uh, the upper transistors of lower transistor on. Suppose this input is one, this cap, this transistor will be on. This transistor will be on. There will be a capacitor attached here. Okay, now there will be path from C one to C two. So this C two having zero charge, but C one having VDD. That VDD is shared with the C two. And after sharing at one node, V X equals to VDD upon one plus C two by C. Suppose the value of C two and C one both are equal. If C1 equals to C2, then what will happen? If C1 equals to C2, then what will happen? This Vx equals to, Vx equals to, wait a minute. If both C1, C2, both are equal to Vx equals to Vdd upon 1 plus 1, it will be 2. Vx equals to Vdd upon, this upon sign is there, 1 plus 1. What does it mean? Means Vdd upon 2. If C1 and C2 both are equal, if C1 and C2 both are equal, what will be cancelled? It will be 1. So Vx goes to VDD upon 1 plus 1, that is 2, VDD by 2. Now it's a threshold. If you see, this is VDD. This is 5. Suppose VDD is 5. VDD is 5. And VDD by 2 means 2.5. VDD by 2 is 2.5. Now, if slightly less than it, it will consider 0. Slightly greater than one, so it will be a confusing state. Whether it will be considered zero or one, because it's like a threshold. Vdd by two, just like a threshold. So how you will consider it zero or one? That problem is in charge sharing problem. Okay, that problem occurs in charge sharing. Problem. Suppose if both transistors uh, are of equal value, then at one stage the charge will be Vdd by two. Then again charge sharing will be there. Then what will happen? It can be zero. Or if it is greater than VDD by 2, then it can be 1. So that is the problem in charge. So what is the uh, remedy? The first remedy is weak pull-up, means we have attached one more PMOS transistor at the top. It's a weak pull-up, means when strong zero will be here, then it will on. And for a strong zero, strong one we should here. 
okay when strong one is there then it is zero and then it will on if suppose uh, at 5 equals to 0 it is on it is one okay and due to one this is zero here so it is also on so it will be charge full it will uh, there is no chance of charge uh, by charge sharing it will reduce no i will listen uh, carefully what is the point i want to explain for 5 equals to 0 it is one but due to charge sharing it was reducing it was becoming half one means vdd but due to charge sharing it was becoming vdd by 2 but if it is strong one it is uh, means due to one it is output is zero for due, uh, zero this transistor is on if this transistor is on again there is chance to start here it will becomes one after charge sharing problem also because uh, uh, previously it was charged through this uh, when phi equals to zero it was charged through this but when phi equals to one this transistor was off and uh, it, this charge was shared but the second transistor is on it will again charge it will again charge it will be one only that problem was solved in beak cooler. So next uh, solution is use multiple pre-charge transistors. Means for different uh, stages, different transistors, a different pre-charge transistor. Means for phi equals to zero, this is also one, this is also one. So there is no chance for charge sharing. In the previous case, there was uh, only one pre-charge transistor. So only this stage was one, and this stage was zero. So when phi equals to one, and these all put on that this charge was shared by the C two. But that problem is solved here because. Uh, because now we are having using the different pre-charge transistors. Okay, so using multiple pre-charge transistors, the charge sharing problem is solved. So this is the example. You pause the video, try yourself how to draw four input CMOS NAND gate using domino logic. Four input CMOS NAND. NAND means Y equals to A into B into C into D bar. So if a multiplication sign is there, means it is in, in short A, a multiply by B, multiply by C, multiply by D, and bar. This you want to design using domino logic. Y equals to A into B into C into D bar. So all four transistors will be in series. Because multiplication sign, due to multiplication sign, all NMOS transistors in series, PMOS will be parallel, but there is no logic of PMOS in domino logic. So A, B, C, D are series, and one PMOS at top, one NMOS at bottom, and with common clock. So it is dynamic logic. Suppose this question was asked using dynamic logic, then uh, there is no inverter here. Okay? But using domino logic, then you have to connect one inverter here. Okay, but that is a disadvantage also. Okay, in domino logic, we are getting without inverted output. We are not getting inverted output. So for inverted output, one more inverter is connected here. That is a drawback of dynamic uh, domino logic. Now next is NORA logic. NORA is NP uh, domino logic. Means uh, uh, just uh, one uh, uh, modification in the previous case here. Uh, again, domino logic is there. But what is NP means first, uh, if we are uh, attaching, uh, we are uh, cascading different stages. So one is we are taking NMOS and another stage we are uh, taking PMOS. Then again, NMOS then PMOS. It's a domino logic, but with NMOS logic. It's a domino logic with PMOS logic. It's a domino logic with NMOS logic. Then, uh, then how problem was solved? C. At when phi equals to zero, only NMOS transistors output will be pre-charged and PMOS will not be there. And okay, so see in this uh, for phi equals to zero, n most is pre charge and p most is pre discharge. Okay, and when phi equals to one, evolution is there as per the inputs. When phi equals to zero, pre charge phase, so only n most n most is will pre charge, p most uh, will discharge. And for phi equals to one, you know that is the evolution stage. Okay, then what is the, uh, the advantage here? Advantage here. The advantage here is that the all the stages are connected directly. There is not gate. Not gate is for the output. And what is for the output? But it the output for going for the second stage is going. It's going directly. Here also output going directly. And remember, for NMOS output is at top of NMOS transistor. For PMOS output is at bottom of PMOS transistor. Okay, your connection um, um, means please. Uh, have focus on uh, when you are making any connection and in most output at the top but for pmos output is at bottom okay so this was the anti domino logic nora logic this is example uh, nora logic means whatever the uh, the logic here and most pmos and most okay but uh, for nmos clock will be 5 pmos 5 bar 5 
okay and remember the inverter is not showing here inverter will be connected here when you will giving for to any stays for p more stays but if it will connect directly then there will be no inverter okay so that is the advantage of neural neurology static cmos inverter is not required at output of every stays so direct coupling is happening here means directly output of first stays is going to the uh, input of second stays and the second is the advantage it allows pipeline system architecture so thank you so much keep learning keep sharing uh, god bless you